Hey friends, this is Boomy here. I wanted to make a quick video addressing a small thread in a wider ongoing conversation about the East Kingdom Rapier Crown variants. First, as it sits, I'm personally agnostic about the decision. I tend to be a populist leaning human, so I think collecting data from participants can create a more informed democratic decision. That, and I also acknowledge my privilege for being a reasonable crown contender on either field, and so for those reasons, I can kind of see the validity of some of the nuanced arguments on both sides of the conversation. All that said, let's give an example of how not to approach this conversation. This is the original post right here by one Jonathan M. Scott. This basically asks, what do you think of the East Kingdom Rapier Crown? And it's asked in a group called Asked the Chivalry. Uh, which only she are supposed to respond. To. We'll get back to that in just a second here. So the conversation continues on. And right here they say, that wouldn't be an unusual reason to support such a thing. And if we're being completely honest, you know as well, as every hard suit fighter worth a damn knows, that this doesn't actually give the rapier community a chance. Any number of dukes can put on a fencing mask and mop the floor with the vast majority of, if not all, of the rapier only fighters at their own game. Many people aren't willing to say it, but we know the truth. This is little more than a publicity stunt to appease the ever-growing numbers of people who don't like the foundation of the SEA and wish to see it forever changed. Many will argue the fact dishonestly, but we know the truth. There, I said it. <laughs> so, any number of dukes can put on a fencing mask and mop the floor with the vast majority, if not all, of the rapier fighters at their own game. So... At least in my experience, long before I picked up Rattan, I can say that my lived experience has disproven this assertion. And more so, the amount of hubris that you need to just assume you can step into a different adjacent discipline and be dominantly successful is astounding. Just because I have a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I don't assume that I can enter a Greco tournament or a Sambo or a Judo tournament and just dominate. It's a different game with different rules and just as many humans who are dedicated to pursuing mastery in their activity. So my initial response is down here. And I just said, your assertion that without training the specific activity, you can hop into another person's field and just mop the floor is equal parts comical and insulting. Please send any number of dukes my way if they want to test this theory. He responds to me by saying, oh, it's all well and good for you to defend this activity. It's just a softer game and you know it. To say otherwise is disingenuous which is a wild response in that it does not address any of the actual conversation. Uh, softer is, in his case, using it as an insult, where I, yes, I absolutely think armored plays harder and has to armor accordingly. There is more force used in the activity, um, but that is neither here nor there. That was not the conversation. Uh, so I stated uh, that your publicly stated assertion is a high-level armored fighter can, without training, enter and dominate a high-level rapier tournament. When I started as armored, um, in armored, as a mod, I did see a lot of accelerated success from crossover skills, but it took several years of dedicated training to become crown competitive. I would be delusional to state I could mop the floor in a crown tourney without dedicated training. And it is this unchivalrous hubris that I'm rebutting. And they haven't responded since. So couple of things. One, Jonathan, if you happen to watch this, I genuinely hope you take some time to be introspective about your beliefs and your own biases and do better representing the shiv in the future. Two, to everybody else, sometimes an armchair street fighter needs to wander into MMA gym and learn a first-hand lesson. The reason that I issued a challenge myself is not because I want to pick a fight, but this group just happens to be a thread where the majority of the folks who are being insulted aren't shiv and thus aren't able to respond for themselves. And three, lastly, for those who don't know, one of my primary goals in Kingdom is to bridge the gap between the two communities. I make attempts to call out folks on both sides who are insulting the other group as a whole, especially in an unnecessary way. I strongly believe in the larger interwoven community of my Kingdom, of my society, and will do my part to strengthen connections instead of tearing them down. And as always, uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will see all of you at Penzik! Penzik!